Hey Split Screen Gamers, welcome to another episode. And hey, today we're gonna to talk about solving a problem that uh, I find very necessary with the Nintendo Switch. And that is being able to hook it up to a TV without having to lug around the big dock. Now, Nintendo designed the Switch to be a very versatile console and they made it so that you can take it uh, away from the dock and be able to be handheld, great. But the way that Nintendo looks at the, the Switch is basically that it's a home console that you can happen to take with you. So they have this dock cradle, obviously, that the Switch pops into, and you're able to, uh, to leave it in there when it's a console and, and a home console and pop it out when it's a mobile. Problem is, if you want to hook it up to a TV, you have to have it, that dock. It, it has a special chip in, in the dock. It has a special, special hardware in order to uh, output an HDMI signal. So uh, up to this point, everybody's been needing to lug around this giant dock, which I find incredibly inconvenient. Well, back at E3, Nyko announced their own mini dock, which I was really excited about. I was so excited to have a small dock that I didn't have to lug around my big dock so that I could just plug it into a, a TV when I was at a hotel room or over at a friend's house. But I also found out that there's another option out there, and that is the C-Force adapter, which I have right here. Now this C-Force adapter, there's actually several different versions. This is the, uh, the CF-001. There's actually a 002, and I believe a 003 as well. And they just have slightly different form factors. These were designed initially to be able to hook up to phones like the Samsung um, S8 and the Future Note 8, and being able to plug in through the USB-C and uh, basically output uh, to an HDMI so you can look at your phone on your TV but also have additional USB ports so that you can plug in a hard drive, um, other accessories. There's also USB-C on the side and the charging USB-C on the bottom. So this is designed to be like a little pod that you can hook up to your phone and be able to kind of use it like a mini computer. Well, the nice, beautiful thing is people discover that it actually works with the Switch. All right, so already plugged into here, we have the Nintendo Switch power adapter that came with my Switch and the NHDMI cable that I just have plugged into there to this TV over here. Now we'll plug it into the bottom of the switch and voila, we have TV mode for the Nintendo Switch just using this little adapter. So I'm really loving this. It's super, super portable. Now you obviously need some sort of a stand that you can set your switch on where the, uh, the USB-C port is unobstructed um, or you can just lay it on a countertop, which you know you can do as well. But yeah, this is, this is awesome. You can now play your Switch um, in full TV mode without having to have the dock with you, which is super, super awesome. I love that. Um, so there's a couple downsides to this system. First and foremost, uh, the C-Force adapter is a fairly new product. There aren't a ton of them out there. And the thing that I've discovered is that uh, because of the, the stock so shortage, because there are new Samsung phones and the discovery that they work with a Switch, is that there's a price hike for availability. These used to be about 40 bucks. Um, now they're going for anywhere from 80 to $100 or more. Um, I got this for 70 bucks, which at that point is kind of a, a bargain. Um, you can wait until the stock starts to even out and the price might start to drop back down. For me, the fact that it worked with my Switch and it will work with my phone made it, you know, 70 bucks wasn't that, that hard of a thing to do. There's times where I like having, being able to connect my phone to my TV for client meetings and stuff like that. So that was worth it to me. But 70 bucks might be a hard pill to swallow. So you might want to wait for the Nyko docking system to come out. That actually uh, will come out uh, in a couple months in October for $50. And it also comes with the HDMI cable and a uh, USB charger as well, versus this, does, this is just 70 bucks for the adapter. So there you have it, running the Switch in TV mode without a dock. I uh, hope you guys found that video helpful. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. We're a new channel. Just getting started, and we're, uh, we're a channel all about local multiplayer games. So we hope you like this video and some of our other content. Thanks for watching.